Good day, beloved brothers and sisters. God bless you. God bless you to be back in your presence. God bless you. God bless you. How beautiful it is to be in the presence of the Most High God. I celebrate grace for you in the name of Jesus. You are highly blessed. You are highly favored in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, divine blessing, divine manifestation, divine upliftment. I bless God for your life. I celebrate grace for your life in the name of Jesus. You are most welcome. You are most welcome, brothers and sisters. You are most welcome. You are highly blessed. You are highly favored in the name of Jesus. This week, this week, next week, whatever you are looking for, your heart desire, I pray by the Father, the Holy Ghost, that you will receive your heart desire in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God upon my life, I release it that you will receive your heart desire this week, this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have had a blessing favor. Marco Shiko Falaba Satale, Marco Pado Sapado, Ye Kada da 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 da. Share this video, share this video. Be not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. The more you share this video, the more God's going to bless you. Hallelujah, we bless you. Daddy God, Christ in me, hope of glory. Ye Kaba Satale, Marco Shiko Falade. God bless you, God bless you, God worship you, God bless you, God bless you, in the name of Jesus. You are an empire and you are the most blessed and you are the most holy. Oh, you must see, you must rock, you must see the defense, you must strong tower. You are the way maker, you are the provider, God bless you, God bless you, we worship you. I tell you, thank you, God bless you, masters of heaven, ancients of days, land of the throne of Judah, we worship you, Jesus, son of the living God. We worship you, Jesus, son of the most high God, we bless you, we worship you, we adore your name. Marco Shiko Palale, Zika Pado, Malabada, Yekada, Rapa, Papa, Kada, Masatale, Marco Shado. We bless you, Dalgo. We worship you. Tell you, thank you, Dalgo, for our going out and our coming in. Our going out is blessed and our coming in is blessed. In the name of Jesus, wherever we go, we are blessed. We are having favor. We are having favor. Divine favor in the name of Jesus. Makaba, Sada, Masada, We tell you, thank you, Dalgo, for providing for our home, for our family in the name of Jesus. Your home is blessed. Your family is blessed, your business is blessed, your job is blessed in the name of Jesus. You are highly protected by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing of God upon your life, I release the anointing of God upon your business, upon your job in the name of Jesus. I bless you, Daddy God, I worship you in the name of Jesus. I release the minister and spirit to go forth and minister on behalf of your people, Daddy God. Tell your children, Daddy God. Tell your sons and daughters, Daddy God, that they may not only be the year of the world, but they shall be the doer of the world. Left changer, we worship you. Confident keeping God. Left changer, we worship you. Confident keeping God. Jehovah, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. I'm a kind of a hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Destiny helper, we worship you. We worship you. Mighty warrior, we worship you. We worship you. We worship you. We worship you. Hallelujah. Wherever you find yourself, begin to worship the Father. Begin to celebrate the Father. Begin to honor the Father. Begin to praise Him. Begin to worship the Father, begin to worship Him, whatever you find yourself. Begin to worship Him, begin to worship Him, not a shame of the gospel of Christ. Begin to worship Him, begin to worship Him, begin to start a breathing. Begin to thank you this hour, begin to thank this hour, begin to worship Him, just a little help us. Confident keeping God, confident making God, confident reviewing God. Begin to worship Him, Jehovah, we worship Him, we worship Him. We worship you, we worship you, protect your people, bless your people, bless your people, bless your people, bless your people, locate your people in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. That confident keeping God, they will make that. Oh, Daddy God, we tell you, thank you, Daddy God, in the name of Jesus. We tell you, thank you, God, we have in Psalm 1 in the name of Jesus. We command you heal in the name of Jesus. I command you heal in the mighty name of Jesus. You are healed by His crown. In the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus upon your home, your business. In the name of Jesus, I release the blood of Jesus upon your children. In the name of Jesus, I command you lose, I say you lose in the name of Jesus. I say you lose in the name of Jesus. I say you lose in the name of Jesus. I say you lose in the name of Jesus. I say you lose in the name of Jesus. From every intimidate spirit, every contrary spirit, every generational spirit, every parental spirit that are holding your life, that delay your life by the part of the Holy Ghost, I speak to you right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. I lose you right now in the name of Jesus. Every oppression, depression, depression in your life, I speak to you by the part of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, come out. You have no place in that vessel. You have no place in that body. I come out 
are in the name of Jesus. I command you are in the name of Jesus. I command you heal right now. I release the power of God upon your land, in your body, every pain in your body, every stomach pain, chest pain, back pain. I speak to you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command you out in the name of Jesus. I command you out in the name of Jesus. I command you heal in the name of Jesus. Every stomach pain, back pain. I command you heal in the name of Jesus. Every disease in the stomach, every disease in the vein, in the bone, in the blood. I command you heal in the name of Jesus. I command you heal in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. And we need the blood of Jesus. 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 The precious blood of Jesus. I release it in the name of Jesus. I release it upon your life. Upon your life. In the name of Jesus. I command you heal in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Oh, bless you, Daddy God. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you in the name of Jesus. I bless you that I worship you. I worship you. I honor your name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' precious name. Beloved brothers and sisters, you are highly blessed and highly favor in Jesus' mighty name. Be not a sin of the gospel of Christ. The more you share this video, the more God is going to bless you. I have no copyright to the music playing in the background. God bless you and God favor you in Jesus' mighty name. We, we will be looking at Romans chapter 6, verse 3 to 4, and it reads, I go to Romans chapter 6, verse 3 to 4. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised, from, raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in newness of life. The words of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My beloved brothers and sisters, the Bible make, makes it clear to us The Bible explains to us that no year not that as many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ. We were baptized into his death. It means that when you go through water baptism, water baptism is, is, is symbolic. It's a symbolic of which, which means that you are what? Dip into the water. Whenever you are baptized into the water, that is a symbolic manifestations and illustrations and showing demonstrations showing that you accept the lordship and you accept that you die with Christ Jesus. That is a symbolic manifestation of his death and resurrection. So brothers and sisters, we need to understand to baptize with water baptism. That's what the Bible makes us understand. Unless you are baptized with water in the Holy Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. So we need to be baptized with water. Water baptism is a symbolic which means you are not you are dipped into water by baptism. You are declaring that you have what identified with the Lord in his death and rest and burial. When you baptize by water, you are declaring and proclaiming by proclamation that you have accepted to die with the Lord Jesus Christ. You identify with him in his death and in his restoration. That's why it is important for us to be baptized in Christ. When you baptize in water, you are baptized in Christ. And that's why you need to identify with him. You need to proclaim that you have identified in his death. You are, you are partaker of his death and restorations. You identify with his death, his burial, and his restorations. You and I, we need to be a partaker. You need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus is our way. Christ Jesus is our Savior. Christ Jesus is our Lord. So you need, we need to be baptized in Christ Jesus Christ. Because our baptism is demonstrated, it clearly shows that you accept the Lordship of Jesus Christ. You identify in his death. You identify in his burial. And you identify in his restoration. When you are being placed into the water, you are being dead with him and you are buried with him. When they take you out of the water, it means that you are resurrected with him. And that's why the Bible makes me understand as I read unto you earlier. Know ye not that so many of us, all of us, we are baptized into Jesus Christ. We are baptized into his death. 
Therefore, we are buried with him. We are buried with him by baptism. So when you are made buried, it means that through baptism, you are buried with him. So you need to, you have to go through baptism to demonstrate, to proclaim, to accept the loss of Jesus Christ, to identify with him through baptism. Our God, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he was baptized. He was demonstrating his death and restoration. You need to identify with him. You need to accept his lordship. You need to be involved. Baptized in Christ. When you are baptized in Christ, when we are baptized in Christ, it means that we are demonstrating and proclaiming by proclamations that we identify with him in his death, in his burial, and in his restorations. We need to. You need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. When you are brought out of the water, it means you're in likeness. That's why the Bible makes all the owner say, he said, uh, verse 4, Therefore we are buried with him by baptizing into death that, like as Christ were raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also shall walk in newness of life, in likeness, in like manner. And when you are come out of the water, it demonstrates that you are come out with the glory of the Father. As he was raised by the glory of the Father, so so shall you be raised by the glory of the Father when you are, when you partake in the water baptism, when you partake when you are baptized into Christ. We need to be baptized into Christ. He said, "I said you be born of the water and the Spirit, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. You need to be baptized. It demonstrate the loss of the Lord Jesus Christ. It demonstrate the loss of the Lord Jesus Christ." That's why Romans chapter 6 was far make us to understand. For if we have been planted together in likeness of his death, we also we also be also in likeness of his resurrection. If we identify with him in his death, it means that we also likewise should be well resurrected with him. Baptized into Christ. When we are baptized into Christ, we declare and proclaim that you die with him, you are buried with him. And you are resurrected with him in likeness. You have a new life. You have a new life, brothers and sisters. You need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. We need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. For if we have been united with him in death, like, like this, we will continue to be united with him in his restoration. It means that if we have been identified with him in his death, it means that we will be continuously to be identified with him in his what? Resurrections. So when you die with him, you bury with him, you resurrect with him. And that's why he said when he returned for the church, we will go with him. We will ascend in our glory, in the glory of the Father, my brothers and sisters. You need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. We need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. He is the only way. My beloved brothers and sisters, I don't know if you hear me today, but I come to speak what words to you. You need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. He is the only way. My beloved brothers and sisters, when you are baptized in Christ Jesus, you are proclaiming, you are declaring that you accept, that you believe that he died, and you identify with him in his death, in his burial, and in his resurrection. Brothers and sisters, the way the glory of the Father raised from the dead, it clearly shows that you yourself will be raised from that water by the glory of the Father. It is a clear demonstration. It means that you identify with in his death, in his burial and restorations. We need to be baptized into Christ. You need to be baptized into Christ Jesus. When you are baptized into Christ Jesus, the Bible makes me honest in Romans 6 verse 6, knowing this that our own man is crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed, that hence we shall not serve sin. When you are been buried, you are dead, buried and raised with him, you are declared, you are saying, and you know that the old man have been crucified. Your old man have been crucified. You are a new man. You are a brand new man. You are not subject to sin because you have been buried. You have been dead and buried and resurrected with Christ Jesus. You are a new man. You are a new man. The old men have been crucified. The old men have been crucified. The old men have been crucified. And sin has been destroyed. And you are not subject to sin any longer. You are not subject to sin no more. And that's why it's important to be baptized into Christ. 
He is our only way. He is our law. He is our master and savior. He is a master of heavens. Beloved brothers and sisters, you need to be baptized into Christ. Jesus. This is your time. This is a acceptable time. This is an appropriate time. Where you are living, where there is day, where there is life, brothers and sisters, it is time to make up your mind to be baptized in Christ Jesus. When they now come and no man work, no man do anything, this is the appropriate time. This is acceptable time to be baptized in Christ Jesus. Identify with him in his death, in his burial, and in his resurrection. Brothers and sisters, when you are placed in the water, you believe, you accept that you die with him, and you are buried with him. When you are taken out of the water, you are said that you've been resurrected with him in the glory of the Father. My brothers and sisters, you are a new person. All things have passed away. You are a new person. Sin has no dominion over you. Sin has no power over you. My Oh, Christ in me, hope of glory. When you are baptized into Christ, you are a new person. The life you live is not of yourself. It's not just about water baptism. We may baptize in the water, it's not just about water baptism. It is like the, it, it is the emissions of the, the believers into Christ. The word emissions mean that you are totally submit yourself. It's a total submission into the water baptism. That you are, you die with him, you bear with him, and you resurrect with him. You totally surrender yourself into Christ Jesus. And that's why we need to. We need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. By being baptized in Christ Jesus, brothers and sisters, you are proclaiming that you accept His Lordship. You are proclaiming that you accept His Lordship and faith in His resurrection. You believe in His burial. You believe in His resurrection. Beloved brothers and sisters, this is the appropriate time. This is the acceptable time to be baptized in Christ Jesus. The things of this world cannot profit you. The things of this world cannot benefit you. Why, 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 why would a man gain when he gave the whole world and he lose your soul? Brothers and sisters, my co I God forbid, for it to happen, brothers and sisters. That's what we have come to you. We have come to explain to you. We have come to teach you. We have come to teach God what to you. We have come to preach God for you. We have come to encourage you. We have come to comfort you so that you can be baptized in Christ Jesus. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is the way maker. He is the only way. He is the vine. We are the branches. My beloved brothers and sisters, you need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. Do not mind the things of this world. Do not mind deception. Do not mind lie. Do not mind fake things. I come back to let you know, you brothers and sisters, you need to be baptized in Christ Jesus. When you are baptized in Christ Jesus, you are proclaiming. You accept your lordship. You identify his dead. You identify his burial. And you are resurrected along with him. You accept his lordship. True faith of his restoration. Baptized into Christ. We need to be baptized in the cross. The world we live in, we are here for a temporary time. This world is now our home. Our Lord demonstrated that I've been baptized. He was showing to us, He was proclaiming to all. He was demonstrating to all. He was showing to all that He would die and be resurrected. But many people did not understand. People would not look at the water baptism or join the battle of baptism of our Lord Jesus Christ. He was demonstrating so that the word of God can be true. He was demonstrating so that the word of God can be fulfilled. He was demonstrating so that the word of God can be alive. He was demonstrating so that God's will can be done. He was clearly demonstrating and showing His death and resurrection. That's why if you believe in your Lord Jesus Christ and you accept His Lordship, you accept His Mastership, you must identify with him, you must crucify the old man, you must be placed in the water and be restored with him. You are demonstrating by faith that you accept his death, his burial, and restoration. You are a partaker, you are involved. Baptized into Christ. We need to be baptized into Christ. My beloved brothers and sisters, this is an appropriate time, this is an acceptable time. I don't know who listening to me this minute, this hour. I come back to encourage you. I come back to motivate you by the power of the Lord, by the Spirit of God upon my life. 
If there are that speak about the Spirit of God that speaketh through me, I've come to encourage you. Be baptized into Christ Jesus. Be baptized into Christ Jesus. This is a acceptable way. This is appropriate way, my brothers and sisters. The Bible makes me to understand in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Devil, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. When you are in Christ Jesus, you are a new creature. When you are baptized in Christ Jesus, you are a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. You are a new person, a brand new person. You are a clean person. You are a good person. Sin has no dominion over you. Sin has no power over you. Baptize into Christ Jesus. Why it is day? Why you have life? Why you have breath? For the things of this world cannot profit you. The world for of deceptions and lies and envy and hatred. The only way is Christ Jesus. The way for is Christ Jesus. Beloved brothers and sisters, baptize into Christ Jesus. I'm fully persuaded. Do not mind the things of this world. Do not mind the things that are around you. Do not mind people that are around you. Do not mind what they will say about you. Do not care about what they say about you. What matters in your life is Christ Jesus. Baptize into Christ Jesus. Baptize into Christ. This is a acceptable time. This is appropriate time. When you are baptized into Christ Jesus, you are a new person. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. You are a new creature. Your old ways have been gone. Your old way has been buried. Your old way has been crucified. You are a new person. You are a new person. You are a new person. You are a new being. Because Christ is in you. It's no longer that you that live, but Christ lives in you. And the work that you do is not of yourself, but of Christ who have sent you. My brothers and sisters, baptize in Christ Jesus. He is our Lord. He is the master of heaven, agents of days, the land of the child of Judah, Yeshua HaMashiach. My beloved brothers and sister, do not mind the globe. Do not mind the things. Do not mind the wave. Do not mind the happening in this world. Where are because the gods of this world plant the mind of them that believe not? Plant the eyes of them that believe not. In the last day, but those who will stand are those who are baptized in Christ Jesus. When he's returning, he's coming for those who are baptized in Christ Jesus. Don't be fooled, don't be deceived by the things of this world. Do not be mad, don't mind the deceptions that are floating and moving around. Or oh, it's all written on the world. Can you see? Can you open your eyes? Who have no time, brothers and sisters? What you need to do and what I need to do is to be baptized in Christ Jesus. He is our way. He is the way maker. He is our Lord Jesus Christ. When you are baptized in Christ Jesus, you identify with him. You accept and proclaim his lordship. You are buried with him. You are dead with him. You are buried with him. And you rest around with him. And the old things will be passed away. And you become a new person. You become with one with him, in likeness with him. God sees Christ Jesus in you. When God looking at us, he don't look at us, he look at Christ in us. That's why the Bible makes me the understand Christ in me, hope of glory. When God sees Christ in me, there's hope of glory. When Christ in you, there's hope of glory. Beloved brothers and sisters, I pass by to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, the only way to make it is Christ in you. The only way to make it, we are baptized in Christ Jesus. My beloved brothers and sisters, do not mind the things of this world. Do not mind the lives of this world. Do not mind the things of the world. Tomorrow will be too late for your soul. Do not be too late for your body. Do not be too late for your spirit. The only way, the appropriate way, the acceptable way, my coach is baptized in Christ Jesus. When God see you, God see Christ in you. Baptized into Christ. Baptized into our Lord Jesus Christ. My beloved brothers and sisters, why it is day? Why you have the breath of life? Why you have the energy to move around? Why you have the energy to go around? Why you got the energy to do the things of this world? Use some of those times for Christ Jesus. Use some of those times for Christ Jesus. Baptize into Christ Jesus. This is a acceptable time. This is a acceptable time. This is the time of the Lord, my beloved brothers and sister, to be in Christ Jesus. That's why the Bible makes me the honor in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 17. But he that is drawn unto the Lord 
is one spirit. When you have been baptized with Christ Jesus, we have been baptized into Christ Jesus. You are in oneness with Him. You have been joined with Him. You have one spirit. That spirit is the spirit of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. When God see you, He see Christ in you. Michael Palade. When God see you, He see His glory. When God see you, He see the fullness. When God see you, He see His authority. When God see you, He see His power. What wow, God Christ is in you, the hope of glory. God see glory over you. He see His manifestation. He see His power. Why? Wow, because He see His Son in you. When you have been baptized into Christ, He is our Lord and Savior. My co-pastor, my person says that God see the Spirit of Christ in you. You have been joined with Him. And you have been united with Him. In oneness, in newness, all things have passed away. Sin has flee from you. He said, flee from the kitchen. Flee the things of this world. Flee sin. Do not the things of this body. But submit yourself to the Spirit of God. Surround yourself to the Spirit of God. Allow the Spirit of God to demonstrate in you. Allow the Spirit of God to work in you. Allow the Spirit of God to take control of you because you are in Christ Jesus. And the only way the Spirit of God can take control of you when you are baptized into Christ Jesus. We have been baptized into Christ Jesus. Baptized into Christ Jesus. My brothers and sisters, when you are baptized into Christ Jesus, you are joined with Him. You are united with Him. In one spirit, the spirit is operating in you. It is not your own spirit, but it's the spirit of Jesus Christ. Where they love you, live you live it by faith to the Son of God, Jesus Christ. The work we do, we do it not of ourselves, but of Jesus Christ who have sent us. The word that we speak is not of ourselves, but He who have sent us. He have called us and sent us into the world to go in witness and make discipleship. But first, you need to be baptized into Christ. You need to be baptized into Christ. Let the Spirit of Christ take control of your life. Let God see Christ in you. Let God see His Son in you. Man, beloved brothers and sisters, this is the appropriate time. This is a acceptable time. That's why Ephesians chapter 5, verse 30, because the honor says, For we are members of His body. We are members of Christ's body, of His flesh and of His bone. The bone that in you, the flesh that in you, it is not your own bone and flesh, it's Christ's bone and flesh. Why? Because you have been baptized into Christ. When God sees you, He sees Christ in you. He sees the flesh of Christ. He sees the bone of Christ. He sees the blood of Christ. He sees the spirit of Christ in you. My Kobala Sataye, Marko Shaddai. Hallelujah. I can feel the spirit of God moving. I can see the spirit of God touching somebody. I can see the spirit of God moving your body your soul and spirit. Why? Because the Spirit of God is for me. It's touching, locating you. Because God is seeing Christ in you. He sees His Son in you. Baptize in the Christ Jesus. When you baptize in the Christ Jesus, God sees Christ in you. When you are baptized in the Christ Jesus, you proclaim and accept and you participate in His death, in His burial, and in His resurrection. You have been united with Him you are being joined together with him in one spirit, in one flesh, and in one bone. God see Christ in you. God see Christ in you. Beloved brothers and sisters, make up your mind. Tomorrow will be too late for you. Tomorrow will be too late. Why it is day? Work. Why it is day? Do everything. Why it is day? Put your body under control. Why it is day? Put your body under subtraction. Why it is day? Be baptized into Christ. Be baptized into Christ. It is our way. It's our way maker. He is a vine, we are the branches. You need to be baptized into Christ Jesus. You need to identify with Him. You need to accept His Lordship. You need to accept His Lordship. You need to be a partaker of His death. His burial and his resurrections. This is a time, this is an appropriate time, this is an acceptable time, my beloved brother and sister. But tomorrow will be too late for time, wait for no man. That's why the Bible makes the honor in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 13. It says, For by one spirit, for by one spirit we are all are baptized into one body, that body is Christ. By one spirit, we are all baptized into one body, and that body is Christ Jesus Christ. 
my beloved brothers and sisters, we are all baptized in the one body. We are all baptized in the one body, and that body is Christ Jesus. He is the only way. He is our Lord and Savior. He is the master of our life. He is the agent of days. Why it is there? Work. Why it is there? Be baptized into Christ Jesus. Why it is there? Declare the lordship of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why it is there? Accept his lordship. Why it is there? Make sure to be baptized into Christ Jesus. When you are baptized into Christ Jesus, you are being united with him in one spirit, in one body, in one bone. The life that we live is not your own life again, but of Christ. We are drawn with him by one spirit in his body, in one body. And that body is Christ Jesus. Make up your mind today. While you are still alive, while you still have breath, it is a time to make a decision. For the dead, the dead doesn't make decisions. There is no way for the dead to make decisions. There is a time for you to make a decision. It is a time to make the appropriate decision. To be baptized into Christ Jesus. So you can be united with him. So you can be joined with him in one spirit, in one body, in one bone. This is the time. This is the acceptable time of your brothers and sisters. That's why the power maker of the honor saying Galatians chapter 3, verse 27. He said, For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ, have put on Christ. We have put on Christ. When you have been baptized with Christ, you put on Christ. People see you walking, they see Christ in you. When people see you talking, they see Christ in you. When people see you speaking, they see Christ in you. They see you sleeping, they see Christ in you. Why? Because you are not of yourself. It's Christ that lives in you. Well, because you have been baptized into Christ Jesus. You have been joined with him in one spirit, in one body. And the body that you have is the body of Christ Jesus. My beloved brothers and sisters, make up your mind. Be baptized into Christ Jesus. Be baptized of the water and of the spirit. Be baptized of the water and of the, be baptized of the, water and of the spirit. My beloved brothers and sisters, identify with him in his death. Identify with him in his burial. And identify with him in his resurrection. And that's why the Bible makes me honest in Acts 17 verse 28. He said, for in him we live. In Christ we live and move and have our seeing. In Christ we live. The love we live, we live by faith through Christ Jesus. In him we live. In him we move. In him we see. This is the appropriate time. This is the acceptable time of beloved brothers and sisters. That in Christ we live, in Christ we move, and in Christ we see. The work we do, we do not of ourselves, but of Christ Jesus, because we have called us. Baptized in the Christ Jesus. When you are baptized in the Christ Jesus, you are joined with him. You are being united with him. You identify with him. You accept his lordship. And you declare that you participate in his death. In his burial and in his resurrection. God see Christ in you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. My beloved brothers and sisters, may God bless you. May God increase you. May God multiply you. May you walk on open heaven into a mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I bless you of worshiping in the name of Jesus. I tell you, thank you for the beautiful and excellent people you have sent unto me. Daddy God to share your word with. I tell you, thank you, Daddy God. May you touch and protect them. God and Daddy God, supply their need according to their riches and glory. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost upon their life, Daddy God, may they be baptized in Christ Jesus. I pray, Daddy God, they will make a decision, a possible decision, a right decision, a accurate decision at this time and moment and meaning that they will be baptized in Christ Jesus. They will accept His Lordship. They will accept His leadership. They will accept His Lord and Savior upon their life. They will be a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away. Daddy God, speak to them. I release the minister and spirit to speak to you right now in the name of Jesus. That you will not only be the yard of the world, but you will be the daughter of the world. Take your glory, Daddy God, take your honor in Jesus' mighty name. Beloved brothers and sisters, if you are on this line and you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior, I want you to repeat these words after me. Say, Dear God, I believe that you send your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into this world. He was dead, buried, and the third day God you raised him from the dead. Lord, I surrender my life unto you. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. I accept the masters of my life. I'm born again. 
Thank you, Lord, for internal life. All things have passed away. Behold, I'm a new person. I'm born again. I have internal life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for being the master and savior of my life. Thank you for giving your life for me. I'm born again. I'm saved. I have internal life. In Jesus' mighty name. My brothers and sisters, believe if you said these words after me, that God hurt you and you are born again. You are saved. You have internal life. You are born again because the power makes us the understand the eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous. You are a righteous person because you are self Christ in you and Christ lives in you and God sees Christ in you. You are born again. You are a righteous person and God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. I love you, but God loves you the best. Have a wonderful time. Have a blessed time. Until we meet again, share this video. Share this video. I have no copyright to the music playing in the background. God bless you.